So here we are given a couple of questions. Each of them we need to obtain the required term for the respective geometric progression. So let's begin. Problem number one, we need to obtain the tenth term of the geometric progression. So let's begin. First, we will specify the first term here. Here the first term, which is represented by the letter A, is negative 3 over 4. Since it's given that the sequence is already in a geometric progression, so we can obtain the common ratio R by dividing the second term with the first term. So that means we are simply going to multiply with negative 4 over 3. So this is going to give us a value. So 2 times 2 is 4. So we have negative 2. So this is going to be our common ratio. Now, we know that the general term of a geometric progression, An, is given by a times r raised to the power of n minus 1. So the tenth term of the geometric progression is going to be a10 equals to our first term, which is negative 3 quarters, multiplied to the common ratio r, which is negative 2 thirds raised to the power of n, or n value is 10, so we have 10 minus 1. So let's find out the value. So here we will have a10 equals to negative 3 over 4, multiply to negative 2 over 3 whole raised to the power of 9 which will be equals to negative 3 over 4 multiply to negative 1 raised to the power of 9 times 2 over 3 raised to the power of 9 this is going to give us negative 3 over 4 multiply to negative 1 so 9 is an odd number so we have 2 raised to the power of 9 divided by 3 raised to the power of 9 so here this is going to give us 3 over 4 times 2 raised to the power of 9 can be also written as 2 squared times 2 raised to the power of 7 divided by 3 raised to the power of 9 can be written as 3 times 3 raised to the power of 8. This is done so that we can cancel out 3 from the numerator and the denominator including 4. So our final value is going to be 1 third times 2 divided by 3 raised to the power of 7. So this is going to be the tenth term of the given geometric progression. Let's move on to the next problem. So here we need to obtain the ninth term of the geometric progression. So let's begin. Our first term will be 1 over 4. The common ratio will be negative half divided by the first term, which is 1 over 4, which is simply multiplied to 4, and this is going to give us negative 2. Then the ninth term, A9, will be A times R raised to the power of 9 minus 1 which will be equals to, so in place of a, we have one fourth, one quarter, multiplied to the common ratio, which is negative two raised to the power of eight. The negative two raised to the power of eight, that's 256 divided by four. So this is going to give us a value, 64. So this is the ninth term of the geometric progression. Let's move on to the next problem. Problem number three, we need to obtain the eighth term of the geometric progression. So here, our first term is a equals to 0.3 the common ratio is 0 0.06 divided by 0.3 we're going to multiply both numerator and the denominator with 100 so we have 0 0.06 multiplied to 100 and 0 0.3 multiplied to 100 so this is going to give us a value so we have 6 divided by 30 so which is simply 1 over 5 now the eighth term of the Geometric progression is going to be the first term, which is 0 0.3, multiplied to the common ratio, which is 1 over 5, raised to the power of 8 minus 1, equals to 0 0.3, multiplied to the common ratio, 1 over 5, raised to the power of 7. So this is the eighth term of a given geometric progression. Moving on to the next problem. So here we need to obtain the twelfth term of the geometric progression. Here the first term a is 1 over a cubed times x cubed. So let's not confuse this a with this particular a. So let's call it a1 instead. So a1 is 1 over a cubed times x cubed. The common ratio r, this will be equals to, we will take the second term, which is ax, and divide it by the first term, which is 1 over a cubed x cubed. This is going to give us a raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of now we need to find out the twelfth term of the geometric progression, which will be equals to the first term, which is 1 over a cubed times x cubed, multiplied to the common ratio a raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of 4, whole raised to the power of 12 minus 1. This will be 1 over a cubed 
x cubed times a raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of 4 whole raised to the power of 11. For the simplification is going to give us, we have a raised to the power of 4 times 11 will be 44 and x raised to the power of 4 times 11 will be 44. Divided by a cube times x cube, which will be equals to a raised to the power of 44 minus 3 is 41 times x raised to the power of 44 minus 3 is 41. Or simply put, we have ax raised to the power of 41. This is going to be the 12th term of the given arithmetic progression. Let's go to the next problem. So here we need to obtain the nth term of the geometric progression. So we'll have the first term, which is a. This is going to be square root of 3. Then the common ratio r will be take the second term and divide it by the first term. And that means we have 1 over square root of 3 multiplied to 1 over square root of 3, which is going to give us a value 1 over 3. We need to find out the nth term, that means the general term of the given geometric progression. So a n is going to be the first term, 1 square root of 3, multiplied to the common ratio, which is 1 third raised to the power of n minus 1. So this is the value of our nth term. Let's move on to the next problem. Problem number 6. We need to obtain the 10th term of the geometric progression. So we will specify the first term which is given by square root of 2. Then the common ratio is going to be 1 over square root of 2 multiplied to the reciprocal of the first term which will be 1 over 2. Then the 10th term of the geometric progression is going to be square root of 2 the first term multiplied to the common ratio 1 over 2 raised to the power of 10 minus 1 which is 9 so we have 2 raised to the power of 1 half multiplied to 2 raised to the power of negative 9 which is going to give us 2 raised to the power of half minus 1 which is negative 17 over 2 so this is going to be the 10th term of a given geometric progression let's move on to the next problem so we want to obtain the fifth term of the geometric progression here the first term is 1 the common ratio is take the second term and divide it by the first term, which is 1. So we have square root of 2 minus 1 divided by 2 times square root of 3. Now, to find out the fifth term, a5, we have a times r raised to the power of 5 minus 1. So here we have 1 multiplied to square root of 2 minus 1 divided by 2 times square root of 3, whole raised to the power of 4. And if we further simplify this, so we have square root of 2 minus 1 whole raised to the power of 4, divided by 2 times square root of 3 raised to the power of 4 whole raised to the power of 4 so this will be 2 raised to the power of 4 multiplied to 3 raised to the power of 4 a half whole raised to the power of 4 so 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16 times 3 raised to the power of half times 4 so that's 9 so 16 times 9 is 144 so this is the fifth term square root of 2 minus 1 raised to the power of 4 whole divided by 144 